How's it going everybody? Chris Cards is back with another set update. This time 1989 Upper Deck. I am putting in 10 cards today. These 10 cards I got through either private signings or through the mail. Got an array of guys here, so let's just jump right into it. Our first card going in is Ed Romero. Ed Romero, very good TTMer. There you go. In a corner up here, you will see what everything cost and what TTMM video you can see these guys on in case you want to look up their information. If it's even still relevant, I don't know. Let's move on to our second card, which is going to be Tommy John here. Tommy John card number 230. Signed for $20 back in 2021, and his autograph is not very good at all. He's charging $50 now for an autograph. I think I would take a hard pass at that and probably find something on eBay if you are looking to get Tommy John on a card. Right here, next to Greg Walker. Perfect. Next card going in, Mr. Terry Steinbeck here. Terry Steinbeck here, 89 upper deck, right here, next to Jack Armstrong. Another good TTMer. Same page, we've got Doug Sisk. He is a good TTMer as well. He now signs through Pass Pros for $5 a card, although I think I got this before he signed up for Pass Pros. So this was just a TTM back in uh, a few years ago, probably 20, 2020. Next one going in, Ron Gidry. Ron Gidry, another TTM, signs one per. Sometimes it takes a while, but he always does send back the cards. Same page, almost next to Gidry is Kurt Ford. Kurt signs through Past Bros, $6 a card. Or maybe $5 a card plus a dollar fee. So I think I sent him two cards and it was $12. So I just averaged out the $6 a card signature right there. You can see it. Paul O'Neill. Paul O'Neill does not TTM. This was a private signing. $45 for Paul O'Neill. Kind of expensive. Signed in silver Sharpie. I think I, I, think I suggested silver because um, it's kind of a dark card. I think it came out pretty nice, I guess. Uh, not knowing what blue would look like. Blue might look nice too, but thought I'd mix it up a little bit with the color choice since I had the option. And there you guys go. Paul O'Neill. Jeff Russell, good TTMer, going in next. Jeff Russell inscribed 89 AL Saves Leader. Very nice to get it a, a relevant inscription for the year of the set. 89 AL Saves Leader. Uh, technically, of course, uh, this would have been 88, would have worked as well. But uh, 89, that's uh, that's close enough for me, Jeff Russell. Good TTMer. Right here in the middle next to Daryl Miller. Boom, oh, Perfect. Next card is Ron Kittle. We're in the high number now, 7-Eleven. Uh, filming this almost on 7-Eleven. Filming this on July 10th. Tomorrow is 7-Eleven. Posting, of course, sometime this weekend. Ron Kittle Black Sharpie, good TTMer. Does not charge except for 84 tops. His rookie card, he charges $20, which he donates to charity. Right over here in the corner. There we go. Last card going in, Eric Hansen, Major League debut, September 5th, 1988. Signed very nicely. T.T. Emmer, no charge. And that'll do it for this week's 1989 Upper Deck Progress Report. Hope everyone enjoyed it. Ten more cards going in. Of course, the sets I chase, 74, 84, 87 tops, and 89 Upper Deck. There you guys go. Nolan Ryan on there. I just sent a couple more out to Mr. Ryan. There's his COA from the Nolan Ryan Foundation. And there you guys go. 1989 Upper Deck Progress Report. Hope you all liked this video. Comment down below. Hit that subscribe button, of course. Uh, every Monday, through the mail Monday. Check it out. Thanks for watching. See ya.